Now let's find out a relation connecting the kinetic energy per mole of a gas and, uh, and the temperature. We have kinetic energy, kinetic energy, let's represent that as E is equal to half mass of the gas times the root mean square velocity. But you know pressure exerted by a gas is equal to 1 by 3 rho v bar square. This, this equation we already have derived and I, I will put the link in the description below. Implies P is equal to 1 by 3. Density is actually mass by volume. M by V. P bar square. Okay. If you take the V to the left, you will get PV is equal to 1 by 3 M V square. And this can be written as PV is equal to 1 by 3. If you multiply a 2 in the numerator and divide it with the denominator, the factor doesn't change. Okay. Which means PV is equal to 2 by 3 into 1 by 2 m v bar square. So this is equal to the kinetic energy E. So PV is equal to 2 by 3 E. Let's call that as equation number 1. But you know PV is equal to nRT from ideal gas equation. Also PV is equal to RT for 1 mole of gas n is equal to 1. Let's call that as equation number 2. If you compare 1 and 2, that is PV equal to RT. Let's call that as equation number 1. This is for 1 mole of gas if, if n equal to 1. So if you compare 1 and 2, you can equate the right sides. That is 2 by 3 E is equal to RT. And E is equal to 3 by 2 RT. Which means the kinetic energy per mole of a gas is directly proportional to absolute temperature. Kinetic energy per mole of a gas is directly proportional to absolute temperature. That is the reason why when the temperature is raised, the kinetic energy increases.